Newsmax.com, Newsmax, the cutting-edge news website that uses that cutting edge constantly to cut into new ground. Uh, when you ask uh, uh, somebody when he was in the service, he says 1941, you say, uh-oh, he was at war. If he says, I was in in 1946, then you know he was uh, enjoying occupation duty in some place like Germany or Japan, England or Okinawa. Uh, when somebody says he was in the service in the 1960s, early 70s, you say, uh-oh, he was in Vietnam. But by mid-70s, he was in the peacetime army. When you ask a Russian spy when he defected, and he says 1992, you figure, oh, well, the Cold War was over. Not so fast. Not so fast. This can only be radio. This can't be television because there's a price on Stan Lunev's head. Uh, Stan Lunev, colonel uh, in the Russian uh, intelligence uh, setup, uh, defected after the Cold War was allegedly over. Colonel Lunev, welcome to these proceedings. We cannot show your face, but we can certainly hear your voice and your message. Uh, when you defect, uh, top Russian agent, you are debriefed by the CIA. Uh, our listeners right now, uh, it is as though you are sitting uh, in a CIA briefing because you will hear exactly what the CIA and other American intelligence agencies have heard from Colonel Stan Luna. First of all, again, welcome to America. Uh, I would have said welcome to the free world, but we thought the, the we thought Russia was free in 1992. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Barry. Uh, but, uh, you know, to operate information which we do have uh, from uh, liberal American press, uh, it's not uh, totally correct, because uh, Cold War, uh, we need to understand what it is. Uh, it was confrontation between two great military powers, and uh, fortunately this confrontation uh, doesn't exist in the same form uh, which uh, it existed for about 40 years. Uh, but look around. Uh, instead of uh, friendly Russia or some kind of mystical partner China, uh, just now America is facing to strategic military alliance between so-called democratic Russia and totalitarian China. With tens of thousands of Russian nuclear warheads and actually unlimited number of Chinese uh, ground forces, this alliance is uh, much more dangerous than uh, it been in time of, uh, you already said, Cold War. Uh, plus, uh, just now, Russia and China are very active in uh, establishment of uh, uh, partnership, strategic cooperation uh, with such countries like uh, North Korea, Vietnam, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Libya, Cuba, actually uh, Venezuela. Uh, and uh, in the nearest time, if uh, American politicians uh, will not uh, take some kind of uh, appropriate policy according to this area, America will face to the coalition of powers extremely hostile to the United States right. and to the Western civilization. Uh, uh, the United States borders Canada uh, and there's all kind of cooperation between the United States and Canada. That doesn't threaten Russia or China. Now turn the page. Uh, China and Russia have a very long border. Uh, what evidence do we have that there's anything threatening to us going on between Russia and China? Uh, first of all, uh, American people are not informed uh, that uh, confrontation between former Soviet Union and China uh, which was based on ideological difficulties and differences uh, between two communist parties, it doesn't exist anymore. Yes, in the uh, 50s and 60s, uh, there have been several uh, open military conflicts between two countries, but they were based on ideological differences between communist party of Soviet Union and Chinese communist party. After the Communist Party in Russia was removed from power, there is no ideological problems. Uh, moreover, these countries are developing uh, very close uh, economical, political, and military cooperation during the last 10 years. And until now, they reach level of strategic military alliance. 
uh, which uh, could not be directed to nowhere. It would be directed against America and American friends and allies worldwide. And this is a uh, real danger for the United States national security. Uh, is this your interpretation, or are you aware as a former Russian spy that there is a deliberate, premeditated, forward-moving, forward-marching attempt to take on the United States and destroy the United States? Barry, you know how many billions of dollars America spent uh, for the support of Russian democracy and free market economy. And of course, uh, American people, American taxpayers, they are expecting something in return from Russia. Uh, but it's not point of view of Russian government. Uh, because Russian government spent all this money uh, received from the United States and from the West in total uh, for their own purposes, deposited at uh, private accounts in Western banks, and uh, they try to explain Russian people why just now Russian people living so bad. And they repeat history just like that. They told the Russian people by Russian uh, government propaganda, you know, that uh, from last month there is no any more independent press in Russia. Everything is under control of government. And they telling to Russian people that they are living so bad, not because of corrupted government, but because of foreign enemy. Russian propaganda tried to deliver to Russian people idea that this foreign enemy, which already destroyed former Soviet Union, destroyed Yugoslavia, uh, organized uh, separatist tension in Russian Northern Caucasus, uh, and the next step, this uh, foreign enemy would like to destroy Mother Russia itself. They fix their fingers at the United States and American friends and allies, first of all, by NATO organization. All right, here you are, Stan Luna. Uh, by the way, uh, was it uh, a difficult decision to defect, uh, or did you intend to defect as soon as you saw your opening, and bang, the opening came in 1992? Very, it was a very difficult decision. It was a very difficult decision. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, it was not like, uh, just like that. Uh, but, uh, because, uh, uh, you know, my biography, that uh, when I was young, I been a student of uh, the law school of Military Political Academy in Moscow. And uh, I, like other students of this academy, had a privilege to work in the archives of uh, Soviet Communist Party. And uh, when I worked, in this archives of my dissertation, I found out that uh, very well-known leaders of international communism and socialism, they were actually insane. They were not normal people. I saw a lot of papers uh, with their handwritten notes when Lenin, Stalin, Zinoyev, Kamini, Trotsky, they sacrificed uh, millions of Russian people for mystical, ideological uh, which could not be realized ideas. Uh, and after this, I didn't work for any kind of ideology. I worked for my country only. Uh, until I came to the United States, uh, where I found for myself that Soviet propaganda lied to me, to other Soviet people about America, American way of life, American society, about everything. So I changed my mind. Of, of course, not in one day, in two days, but in some time, my mind was dramatically changed. One of the five most important things that you had to tell, not just the CIA, but now the American people, uh, about your uh, experience. So what, uh, let's, let's do this like a newsroom. Uh, which I'm sure uh, uh, would please the CIA if they had it laid out for them. The five most important messages that Stan Lunath, Russian spy, now on our side, brings to the American people. Uh, Barry, I would like a little bit continue uh, previous question and answer. Uh, because when I came uh, to America, I remember this date. It was August 18, uh, 1988, when... I fly by Aeroflot flight uh, from Newfoundland to Washington, D.C., and uh, Soviet propaganda explained to me and to other Soviet people that